that too. Have you seen those shirts where it says like it's not like it's rocket surgery? <laughs> I don't think I've seen. That's <laughs> where they good. mix like the brain surgery and the rocket science. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. Ready? Good I'm to go? ready. Yeah, my eyelids twitching, but Uh-oh. oh, you can't tell, right? Yeah, I don't think that shows up in a video. If somebody's, <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> if somebody's looking that closely. Now they'll always be looking. They're going to like zoom in and like, <laughs> like try and look at my eye. I'm sorry. I'm stressed. I'm sorry. Nathan on shuffle Easter egg. If you could catch Jana's eye twitching. <laughs> Ready? Good to yeah. go? Okay. Yeah. Aside from the twitching eyebrows and eyelids. and Okay. It's fine. It's all we'll fine. fine. We'll be fine. We're just listening to music. We're just listening to music. <laughs> it's not rocket science. Yeah. Or <laughs> rocket surgery. Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Nathan on Shuffle and to our latest episode of Prog Song Sunday. I've got Jana with me. Hi. And this is the show where we listen to a prog song together and it's Jana's first listen. And probably. we shuffle into it and see what we get, right? And I say probably, but like, it's all, like, I Yeah, it's heard, always a first listen. I've never heard any of it's these It's more songs, probably so. for me, but most of them I've heard, so. Yeah, yeah. But occasionally we, we step into one I haven't heard, but you never know. That's yeah, part of the shuffling aspect. We just shuffle through our list, whatever it is yep. that comes up, we you listen to. You know what you're going to step into. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the tagline for, for our, these episodes. <laughs> All right, shuffle. All right, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're wacky. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Look we at that. Done... Five and a half minutes. <laughs> we haven't done Rush in a while, right? Rush. So I think we did um earlier this year. We did YYZ or YYZ. I remember YYZ. talking about that. Yes. Canadians way in. <laughs> yeah, Canadians way in. <laughs> So, yeah, this is Free Will from Permanent Waves, which is a pretty big classic of theirs, a pretty popular yeah. rock song here. Not super proggy, I don't think, but we'll oh. let you be the judge. Is it from the 70s? Um, I think this is maybe the very... Wasn't I supposed to guess after I listen? <laughs> <laughs> we did that for like one We did video. that one time. <laughs> We're like, let's do this every time, and I don't think we've done it since. No. Now we just spoil it. Yeah. It's from 1980. Oh, I bet so, I would have guessed that. Moving right into the 80s. Yeah, you might have. 1980. That's a good year. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. All right. So Should let's get into this major big Rush song that you Is probably... Is it a major one? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, it's one of their big, bigger hits, I think. So. Okay. Popular, like radio Oh, popular. Play. Yeah. Hmm. So. I bet I'll like it then. <laughs> that tends to be the case. That's true. <laughs> All right, let's listen to Free Will. <laughs>
stuff. <laughs> that was a fun one. Yeah? Yeah. That was a good one. Cool. Yeah, I like the way um, it does, it had like little like, really short, like only like a beat, like a pause, you know, where it like, yeah. pause and then kept going, you know? <laughs> right. I feel like the use of silence in music is just so impactful and so powerful. Right. Like it has just like, it causes you to like, narrowing your focus on the song immediately. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it like gives you like a moment of like anxiety, like yeah. the music has stopped. What do I do? <laughs> and, That's and interesting. And so it causes yeah. you to like really focus in on the music yeah. because all of a sudden the absence of music is there. And interesting. So, and there's just really like small moments in the songs. There's right. other songs that we've listened to that have like longer, longer like, pauses like and things that. like this. But this one is just like, but it had it multiple times throughout the song where it like just paused a beat and then kept going. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And there were a couple times where I feel like it, like it was so short of a pause, it almost felt like, like if you're walking along, you like tripped, like, oh, that, yeah. like that's a, like that's the feel I got when it like did did the super short pause and like just kept going. It was like, oh, but you know they tripped, <laughs> like that's what it sounded like to me. Yeah. But I enjoyed it. I like the way that it um, uh, would sing the title, the the line. Like you can see it right here. Yeah, uh, you can see it right here. Can you guys see? <laughs> can you see what we can see on our screen? <laughs> <laughs> I will choose a path that's clear. I will choose free will. And every time it would say those lines, it was like just to like, this is it was definitive. Yeah, I will choose free will. And I just like the cool. way yeah. that they matched those lyrics to the music that they were playing. It was just a perfect yeah. blend of lyric and music to make a statement. I think that's something they're really known for and really good at is that yeah. they're just, they have a great blend of great lyrics, great stories, and mm-hmm. the music really accompanies it in a yeah. very great way. I think they're also masters of like doing complex stuff emotion or instrumentally, but mm-hmm. like it still is catchy somehow. It's still interesting yeah. and fun to listen to. Sometimes bands can get overly complex and it's like, you know, almost not even fun to listen to anymore because there's so much going on and it feels busy and, and yeah. there's a lot of it's different things. It's too messy sounding. Like yeah. You know, but they've got a good balance. But they've, they're able to like do things that are really intricate and interesting uh, instrumentally, but it still sounds really pleasant and good for a general listener, you know? Mm-hmm. That's why some of their songs became pretty popular. So, um, yeah, I think they do that really well on this track, which has some really interesting instrumental moments. There's even a whole instrumental break in the middle that's like them just really going off and playing expertly a yeah. crazy guitar solo and all the great bass work in that section. You know, it's just a really cool instrumental break that showcases their talents. And so I- I've learned to really come to appreciate Rush more over the years. Like, not a band that my dad was ever really into. So when I was first getting into prog music, it wasn't really one of those that I listened to. It was more Not on your radar. Yeah, more later when I was delving deeper in and they were kind of in the conversation of one of the greats of prog music that I'm like, oh, well then I definitely have to get into it. And just the more I listen, the more I like what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And what's cool is they evolved through time. Like they had their like 70s progressive period, but then as they went through the 80s and 90s, they kind of adapted with the sounds of the times and sounded more modern for the time period they were in. So I think they were one of the best at adapting their sounds through, through the ages where certain bands feel a little bit like they were still holding on to their sound from, from their older era or struggling to adapt to the newer sounds. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's my endorsement for rush, I guess in general, but yeah, a cool song. I endorse rush too. (laughs) Great lyrics, great, great (laughs) message. And yeah, I just think it was really great, great track. Fun, right? Fun. Good times. Good times. I like that it was only like five minutes. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's the big like, selling point for you. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, everybody knows how I feel about like long songs. Yeah, that's like our songs. running running gag of the show. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, I feel like you can get in a solid like piece of music in five minutes, and this yeah. is just a great example of that. So I like, I like songs of all lengths and sizes, so <laughs> I like the shorter ones too. And I think it's cool when a band can do something cool and progressive, but in a shorter package, like just really put it in there mm. in a great compact way. I think that's good too. So, yeah, but I love my one. epics too. So don't get me wrong. Lots of love. 
And I just that. love everything. You That's do. my thing. People are coming to know that, I think, on the channel. You I'm love just positive. Everything. I love all the music I listen to, and it's just a lot of fun to you talk about. You are there for whatever they want to give you. Like, yeah. whatever... Yeah, if I fall in love with a band, then... They have me hooked, line, and sinker. Like, I'm willing to follow them with whatever they want to do. So, I've fallen in love with Rush, so I'm there for the journey with Rush. No matter for all what their they albums. Do. Yeah. So, yeah, that's our show today. Hopefully, right. you enjoyed the song and, and our discussion about it. Let us know in the comments how you feel about Rush and about this track and some of the stuff <laughs> we talked about, I suppose. That could be like a big, a big conversation topic how do you feel about rush <laughs> yeah that's a pretty generic <laughs> tell us how you feel about rush <laughs> yeah that would just whatever you want to talk about always yeah. happy to see any we're, comments we're here for it <laughs> yeah so thank you guys so much for joining us and i think for now we'll close the show and enjoy the just music. tell you guys enjoy music yeah bye bye everybody bye.